Okay, so there's been another update to Lineage OS or Android 9 on Raspberry Pi 4B. And uh, this is thanks to Consta Kang again. And uh, I'll put a link in the description uh, to his uh, to all the details of how to download it and everything. But it's very, very straightforward. You just write it with Belena Etcher. And this, it definitely feels faster. Uh, and I haven't overclocked. So my last video on this, I overclocked 2 gig. Uh, I'd been asked about how it performs without overclock. So I thought I won't overclock it for this initial look because I haven't really got a lot of time to do this today. But uh, I've flashed it. I've uh, started up the browser. I've set my keyboard. I haven't restarted this either. And people say that generally after time, uh, it tends to get a bit quicker. Why does it do that? So I type in BBC and enter. Let's try it this way. BBC weather. There you go. So I, I think it feels more snappy, definitely. And if I go back to the home screen, uh, and if I double tap and raise up, you get all the apps. You can see the camera app has been added because all the changes that are listed. Uh, so it says add camera HAL to support Pi camera modules, fix portrait apps on force landscape orientation, update GPS how, add infrared key table tool to configure infrared remotes, enable USB gadget support and fix ADB toggle in developer options, update to Linux. 4.19.103 kernel and patch known vulnerabilities, Android security patch level five. On the, there is also, because uh, previous to this, I downloaded the Raspberry Pi 3 image. I got excited because I saw there was a new Raspberry uh, Pi image and I thought it was for Raspberry Pi 4, but they're, they're still developing for Raspberry Pi 3, which is great for people who've got those devices. Um, but there was something that said, updated uh, Mesa driver support. And I don't know if that's been applied to this, but something's made it quicker. It's definitely, you know, maybe there's other things they haven't mentioned that they've changed. Uh, but if I go into settings, uh, I noticed under keyboard, where is it? Oh, I don't know what keyboard comes under. Oh, I suppose I can search, can I? Let's see how quick this works. Keyboard assistance might be under that. Keyboard and input methods. I think it might have been under that one. There's all sorts here. Logitech. Yeah, show shortcuts helper. So you've got a load of shortcuts in here, which I noticed. So home back recent notifications and shortcuts to launch applications as well. I don't know what the search... I don't know if the search um, is referring to the Windows key on a normal keyboard. Uh, I have got a search key, which is F5, uh, but I've got to press the function button. So let's try one of these. So let's try launching contacts because I've not launched that before. So I'm going to press F5 and C. What happened there? Oh, maybe that was because it was still open. C. What's it doing? Oh, okay. Power off, restart, screenshot. What does it do with the screenshot then? Okay, we'll have a look for that in a second. Uh, so I'm just going to try F5 and C. Oh, okay, so that's weird because my keyboard usually have to press the function button and then the F5 key. And in this case, I just pressed the F5 key. Uh, what were the other ones? There was, uh, uh, let's go back. So if I do this one, this should show me all the open apps. And I can drag it across here. Yeah. Shortcuts, it just, the overall OS definitely seems quicker and I haven't even restarted this and uh, and so this is very impressive. So what do we have? Music is P and ca uh, calendar is L, so P, E and L. So let's go back home and let's go uh, F5, F5P, music, F5E and wait for that to open up, F5L, yeah, so there's your shortcuts, I don't know if there's a way of adding them on or anything, go back, and then we can close some of these down, I think, by dragging up, oh, not like that, maybe you have to, yeah, so on my keyboard, you can double tap the keyboard and drag up, but if you've tried the other build, 
this is definitely a lot quicker. Now I haven't put the Google Play Store on it. Um, I did try Aptide on the other one and I installed a few things. I think I did tune in radio and that worked all right, but the audio was a bit funny. So I need to revisit that. But today I've got to get to work. Um, so what I'll do is I'll try and install some apps, uh, try and get the Play Store on it, and then maybe do a little update video when I get time. Anyway, I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Right, so I'm pressing, must be Alt and F5 for that shutdown. So power off.